everyone and this hello guys today i am going to tell you about the four basic initial step that you must do before starting designing in autocad first let's see what are those steps so these are the four steps that you must follow before starting a drawing into an AutoCAD. First step is set unit of a drawing. Here we set a unit of our drawing like a MM. Uh, we want to draw in MM or inches. Okay, that's it. Second step tell us we have to set limit of drawing. So here we do, we set the limit of our worksheet. We set the area in which we want to work. The third step is zoom into worksheet. After uh, setting limits of our worksheet, we uh, we zoom into it so we can have proper access or proper uh, we can uh, we can have proper access to draw drawing easily. Fourth step: set layer for drawing. Before starting a new drawing, we must always set an a layer for it. So let's start with our first step: set unit of drawing. Okay, so here we have our drawing uh, AutoCAD. This is a command bar. To set uh, set a unit of our drawing, we just have to type units on command bar. Okay, the drawing unit pop-up window is open. So here we have type of length means in the which. This I means type of uh, measurement units we should use. There are architecture, decimal, engineering, fractional, and scientific. Mostly, architecture is used by civil engineers. If we choose architecture, you can see the precision. I mean, the unit will represent in inch or uh, feet, and also in fraction. And it's a unit of insertion. Means whenever we will measure any two uh, distance between any two points, it will show us in inches. Okay. The next, if we choose decimal, it's a simple. We uh, we can uh, set this insertion unit as we want. See, we have lots of options. We can keep it as unitless, but it won't insert any. Won't be useful. So we can use feet, miles, millimeter. Normally, mechanical engineers we use millimeters that's the most standard uh, unit we always use in mechanical engineering then we can choose our precision to be a uh, point zero decimal uh, point zero after a decimal one zero two zero three zero and goes on I, uh, for for me I always use integer and we also have same option for angle so after setting your uh, drawing unit just click on ok let's move forward so this is how we have set our unit of our drawing. Here we are done with our first step. Let's move towards the second step. Our second uh, step says set limits of drawing. To set limit of drawing, just write type limits on command bar. Press enter. It says specify lower left corner. So we have to like whenever we are uh, trying to sketch or starting to sketch or uh, starting to drawing something on a piece of a paper, a piece of paper is our workspace uh, within which we draw our drawing. So here is the same concept. We have to specify the lower left corner of our work uh, worksheet. Let's say uh, I want it to be the origin. So zero comma zero, the upper right corner. I want it to be x coordinate 2000 separated by comma and the y coordinate 2000 because uh, actually I almost draw some big scale, uh, big scales, big uh, drawing so I always use 2000 comma 2000 x and y coordinate so here we have set our limits of drawing okay let me show you one quick example what these limits are, are, are about so let me draw one rectangle okay so here as uh, in uh, first when we uh, ty uh, type limits on our command bar it says specify the first uh, lower left corner so we defined it as 0 comma 0 so that's our origin so this is our workspace this rectangle is our worksheet within which we are going to draw 
it just I'm taking an example to tell you guys this will be our origin and this will be our upper right corner uh, 2000 comma 2000 okay so and that's how it's done in AutoCAD we said first origin the lower left corner and then we say the right right uh, upper right corner so, uh, so now the, the rectangle of specified uh, coordinates has been created for us so let's erase this just I took it to make you understand an example as example next let's uh, move toward our third step okay our third step says zoom into worksheet so to zoom uh, actually this is not that important but uh, but it's what I do while starting a new drawing because actually just, I just want I want to see my entire worksheet while uh, before beginning the drawing so just type zoom or z enter Z on command bar enter here we uh, here we have all the option how you want to zoom in by center from dynamic extension scales window so press A so your all worksheet is zoomed in now you have the available area you set your origin here you can see the red and the green line and this is our origin 0 comma 0 and somewhere uh, over here up is 2000 comma 2000 coordinate which is our workspace so we are done here with our uh, third step and the final step which is the final step is setting up layer for drawing this one is really important guys the final step setting up layer will help you in number of ways guys the first, uh, first advantage of setting up layer is that if you want to draw so, uh, something like a, a box then you want to draw a circle then within that circle we you want to draw again box and within that box again you want to draw a circle so let's see let me create that box and circle so let's create first example okay now this uh, rectangle this rectangle is in default layer which is zero a uh, default layer is created by AutoCAD and it is named as zero you can see here uh, this is our layer panel and here it's a zero this is currently on okay let's uh, uh, erase this uh, rectangle and let me start uh, start you with from the beginning so let's first create a new layer so to create a new layer you have to click on the layer properties so, so you can see here the status it says it's uh, the tick it says that the st uh, layer name zero is activated I want to create a new layer so I will click on this new layer or alt plus n I will name it as a rectangle then I will activate it by double clicking on the sheet button so now our uh, layer rectangle is activated if you want to change its color then you can by clicking on the color panel the uh, white box you can change its color I want to change it to the red so you can see here we also have the benefit of selecting the type of line you want to select here it's uh, the continuous solid line you if you see can see again that the load option you have various number of other lines too you can select first let's uh, start with the solid line and you also have the option to select the weight of the line the width of the line means it's the thickness of the line you can select various number of thickness of the line from 0 0.00 mm to 2.11 mm so let's uh, let it be the default one okay close the close this window okay now if I, I want to draw a rectangle rectangle it will be in red color because I have selected the red color to draw a rec for my layer so whatever I will draw in this layer it will be in rectangle okay so let's draw one more rectangle outside this rectangle so 
okay this is done so now I want to create a circle within this rectangle within the small rectangle I want one circle and outside the uh, small rectangle means within the outer rectangle I want one circle so let's create one more layer of circle again the same process let's go to the layer properties create new layer name it circle then uh, I want to select the color for it, it uh, let's take it green okay so if you want to draw into in a layer named circle then you have to activate it if I didn't activate uh, activate the layer named circle and if I want to draw circle it will be still it will be say uh, still in the same layer so see if I draw a circle it will be in the red color so as I have cre already created a layer named circle I can select it from here circle now if I want to draw a circle you can select any two point and draw it see simple you can see the change it's in green color again the second I would for here okay you can see that now if uh, someone asks you that he wants only the drawing or print out of the drawing of circle then what you want to do because you have already drawn the circle and the rectangle in the uh, in works workspace but you can't give him the drawing this drawing so for the design option you can turn off your layer so it will be just invisible for you if someone says that you uh, he wants a circle drawing then you just turn off the rectangle drawing you can see you can give him the printout of this circle and if even if you want to just work in this layer then you can draw on one more circle here which it but it won't affect your layer rectangle layer it won't affect this layer similarly goes for the rectangle layer now if someone says I have, uh, he wants a rectangle uh, drawing of a rectangle and he doesn't want a circle then I will just turn off the circle layer and the circle will disappear circles will disappear now I can uh, manipulate draw or manipulate anything do into this layer Okay, let's select the rectangle layer and now I can draw a line without affecting the layer uh, drawing in the circle layers this this is very useful one so guys if you like if you think these four steps are really important and these are uh, if you guys think this video is really helpful for you for a beginner to a uh, beginner in AutoCAD then please like and do subscribe my channel for more easy videos on AutoCAD